to the 2020 MenCap and Celebrate Together Carol Service here in Exeter. This year we've decided that we're going to offer our carol service as a video on YouTube that we've recorded here in South Street Baptist Church. And wherever you're watching, we want to say a really big welcome. Really pleased that I'm joined by some regulars from our carol service. Uh, so I've got Tony here, and Patsy, and Sheila, and Jan will be joining us in our service later on. I really hope that you'll enjoy our carol service. I hope you'll enjoy singing the carols with us. The words will appear on the screen. Um, and as we worship together, pray that you will know the light of Jesus wherever you are. One of the ways we represent the light of Jesus at Christmas time is with the lighting of candles. And so I'm going to invite Sheila now to light our three Advent candles because it's the third Sunday in Advent. Our Advent candles are lit, so we're all ready to go. Our first carol invites us to come and join shepherds and wise men as they hurry down to Bethlehem to welcome the newborn king. We sing, come and join the celebration. It's a very special day. and celebrate together carol service this year is let there be peace and we're going to have a short opening prayer now where we thank god for the peace that we know through the birth of jesus into our world let's pray we give thanks to god that jesus came down from heaven we think of the angels who sang at his birth and the shepherds who first heard the song and came to worship the newborn king, we come too to worship Jesus, the king who brings peace. We think of the star that told everyone that Jesus was born, the wise men who saw it from far away and traveled to worship 
the newborn king who brings peace, we come with them to praise Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that Jesus came here, came to us to show God's love. He lived and died to show God's care. He loves us then, he loves us now and always. And so, so today we come to worship Jesus the King who brings peace. Amen. Our first reading for our carol service speaks about the birth of Jesus and who he is. It's going to be read for us by Sheila Swarbrick. Our first reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, beginning at the 18th verse. God is with us in Jesus to bring peace. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah happened. His mother Mary was engaged to marry Joseph. But before they married, he learned that she was expecting a baby. She was pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mary's husband Joseph was a good man. He did not want to cause her public disgrace, so he planned to divorce her secretly. But after Joseph thought about this, an angel from the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to accept Mary to be your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus. Give him that name because he will save his people from their sins. All this happened to make clear the full meaning of what the Lord said through the prophet. The virgin will be pregnant and will give birth to a son. They will name him Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us.
Jesus has been born and laid in the manger. And our second reading now speaks of angels going to give the good news of the birth of Jesus to shepherds working in the fields. And it's read for us by Jan Pinnegar. Our second reading is from Luke chapter 2, starting at verse 8. Shepherds meet the Saviour who gives peace. That night, some shepherds were out in the fields near Bethlehem watching their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord was shining around them. The shepherds were very afraid. The angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I have some very good news for you, news that will make everyone happy. Today your Saviour was born in David's town. He is Messiah, the Lord. This is how you will know him. You will find a baby wrapped in pieces of cloth and lying in a feeding box. Then a huge army of angels from heaven joined the first angel, and they were all praising God, saying, Praise God in heaven, and on earth let there be peace to the people who please him. The angels left the shepherds and went back to heaven. The shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem and see this great event the Lord has told us about. So they went running and found Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby lying in the feeding box. When they saw the baby, they told what the angels had said about this child. Everyone was surprised when they heard what the angels told them. Mary continued to think about these things, trying to understand them. The shepherds went back to their sheep, praising God and thanking him for everything they'd seen and heard. It was just as the angel had told them. A favourite carol of lots of people is Silent Night. We're going to sing it now and invite you to join in with us. last few months I've heard lots of stories of people showing each other kindness. We've heard of neighbours doing their shopping for each other. We've heard of people baking cakes and giving them away to their friends. And other people writing a card to someone who they know is lonely. And you can probably think of little acts of kindness that someone's done for you 
or that you have done for someone else. When someone shows us kindness, it makes us feel special. When someone shows us kindness, it, it makes us feel like the world is a better place. It's a wonderful sign, isn't it, that someone cares for us, someone loves us. And in the birth of Jesus, we see God showing us the most incredible kindness. In our first reading, we heard how the birth of Jesus is God coming to be with us. Uh, Emmanuel means God is with us, and that's one of the names we give to Jesus. In Jesus, God himself has come to help us and save us. In Jesus, God comes to us to show just how much God loves us. And God comes to us in Jesus to help us know and love God and to help us love each other. The shepherds are told about this wonderful gift that God has given. They're told to go and find in Bethlehem the Saviour that's been born for them, God's special gift at Christmas time. And they're told that this gift, the gift of Jesus, will bring peace. Because in Jesus, they, they will be able to find forgiveness for the past and a new relationship with God. And Jesus will teach us how to live in peace with each other. In the birth of Jesus to be our friend, we see the kindness of God. A kindness that brings a new peace into the world. God invites us to know that peace as we trust in Jesus. And God invites us to share that peace as we show kindness to each other. The song that Pin sang for us, Let there be peace and let it start in me reminds us that peace comes into the world when we accept the peace that Jesus gives and when we share it with each other. And one of the ways in which we bring a greater peace into the world is to go on showing that kindness to each other. Another way that we show kindness to each other is by praying for each other. And we're going to have a short little prayer now. And it might be that at home you've got some tags that we normally put on presents to say who they are for. Uh, and if you've got one at home, then at this point it might, uh, might be good to pick one up or, or maybe do this later on. And with a gift tag, we could think about who we want to pray for today. Perhaps someone we know who is in need, maybe who's poorly or sad or worried. Um, and either now or later on, I uh, encourage you to think about someone we want to pray for, perhaps even to write their name on it and to hang it on your Christmas tree as a way of offering our prayer to God for that person. I'm going to lead us in a short prayer now for others. Jesus, God with us, we pray tonight for those we have thought about. May they know your light and joy this Christmas time. We think of those who are sad and lonely. We think of those who are ill, of those who are afraid. And help us always to be kind to one another and bring your peace into our world. May we all know in our hearts and lives the hope you bring and that we are always held in your arms of love. This Christmas, may we know your peace filling our lives and our homes as we trust in your never-ending kindness and care. Amen. Thank you so much for joining in with our carol service this year. And we look forward to welcoming you back into our church here at South Street to celebrate our carol service next year. I really hope to see you then. 
I want to say a big thank you to Pin and to Jan and to Patsy and to Sheila for sharing with me in offering you this carol service and we all wish you a very uh, peaceful and joyful Christmas. We're going to sing our final carol now and then Sheila's going to close our service with a prayer of blessing. We sing the carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem. to Bethlehem. We've heard the story of the angels telling the shepherds that great news of joy and peace that Jesus Emmanuel is with us. And so we come to our final prayer and blessing. The joy of the angels, the wonder of the shepherds, and the peace of Jesus Emmanuel. God is with us. Fill your hearts this Christmas time and the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen. Amen. We thank you so much for joining us in this special service. And now we all want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. <laughs>